Damn it all! My being, am the word. It would my right be infinite. Am I not immortal? Curse you, emissary! You promised me everlasting. a single ship. Hells take that sea demon. Gather the survivors and get to shore. Leave the wrecks for the pirates. Leviathan wastes no time. The diversionary squadron is lost. For a mercy, it would seem the primal now makes for open sea. But why does he not press his advantage? Unless... God save us! He means to unleash a tidal wave! There used to be a hamlet beyond South Tidegate in Western Lanosha. Hearthstone, it was called. Some years prior to the Maelstrom's founding, Leviathan rose from the briny depths and set about unleashing watery hell upon us. On that occasion, the company of heroes put him down before he could do too much damage. But when the bastard came next, this time in the wake of the Calamity, we were not so fortunate. Weary of ravaging our shoreline, he summoned a tidal wave which fair leveled Hearthstone and washed the soil away for good measure. The area was subsequently occupied by the Sahagin. Aye, the thrice damned creatures transformed it into a spawning ground for their brood. Given the quantity of crystals stolen to feed him and his legion of thralls, we can be fairly sure that Leviathan is stronger now than in his previous incarnations. If that sea demon is left to wreak havoc, 
What befell Hearthstone may well befall a larger settlement, even Limsa. That cannot happen. The Primal must be stopped. That was ever our objective, Admiral. But how are we to achieve it? The sea is Leviathan's uncontested domain. The ships of the Third Squadron could not close to within a hundred yards of the Primal, nor could their cannons pierce his defenses. I have read the reports, Master Thancret. Our warships may as well have been bloody pleasure barges for all the good they did. Seven Hells! Is there no way that we might strike back? The Company of Heroes defeated Leviathan, having first lured him into an inlet, but we must needs contend with him upon the open sea. It will avail us little to consult past experience. Admiral, if I may. Speak freely, Marshal. By all accounts, Leviathan's most formidable weapon is the very sea itself. Waves and whirlpools, tides and currents, all these things are his to command. The key to victory, I believe, lies in disarming our foe. This, in effect, is what the Company of Heroes achieved with their ruse. We cannot lure Leviathan from the sea a second time. But what if we could weaken his hold upon the element of water? I have heard of devices capable of such wonders. They draw upon the power of corrupted crystals, I am told. If mounted upon a ship, such a device might be used to prevent Leviathan from bringing the full force of the sea to bear against us, rendering him no more dangerous than any other sea serpent. Of course! Sid built a similar device to grant the Enterprise safe passage through Garuda's Tempest, did he not? Begging your pardon, my lady, but to give credit where it's due, this is something I heard from an old arcanist friend of mine. It makes little difference who thought of it first, so long as it works. Beg the specifications of this device from your friend, and I shall pass them on to our people at Naldic and Vermelis. But before we proceed any further, I would voice one concern. Piercing Garuda's defenses is one thing. Suppressing Leviathan's attacks quite another. In matters of science, I am as a babbling babe. But I cannot well imagine that such a feat would be possible without a veritable mountain of corrupted crystals. The question being, do we have a ship big enough to bear such a burden? Mayhap not, Admiral, but too might. Recall you the tale of Mistbeard's greatest haul? It is said that he lashed two ships together, side by side, the better to bear his plunder. By your leave, we might attempt to repeat the trick. The gods know it would be quicker than building a new vessel. Mistbeer did this. Truly, Marshal, upon the subject of the Pirate King, you are as a scholar. Now, from what I have gleaned of these matters, the device will need to be in close and constant proximity to the target. To wit, we must lash our twin vessel to Leviathan. This in itself will be no small feat. Ramming speed will be required, but given the weight of the cargo, that will only be attainable with the aid of a towing vessel. Suffice it to say, the task of piloting said vessel will entail considerable danger, and I would not ask it of another. I volunteer myself. It will be dangerous for all involved, but we have no better recourse. Very well. Commodore. 
Assemble the remnants of the fleet at Moraby Bay. Give priority to our soundest vessels. The repairs can wait. Storm Marshal Slafierson, command of the operation is yours. I want that twin vessel ready to sail post haste. At once, Admiral. And then there is the small matter of slaying the beast. The fate of Limsa Lominsa rests upon your shoulders once again. Go well, warrior of light. Woohoo! <laughs>